great white issues an apology for their concert in um North Dakota where there was no social distancing. Money Michelle Morrison did a report yesterday, which was um July eleventh, regarding a concert that Great White performed on July 9th in um Dickinson, um North Dakota. I do apologize that I said North Carolina, but they were in North Dakota and Dickinson performing a concert where there was no social distancing. So they issue a statement saying they are not in a position to enforce laws. I mean, do you just care about money and not the safety of your fans? You figure they would learn from what happened in 2003 with the fire where over 100 fans were killed from pyrotechnics. I mean, they got themselves in the news now. Obviously, for all the bad bad reasons. Now, did they want to be um, held accountable in case anybody got sick from attending the concert? Common sense should have been used. They should have told the promoters, we will not play unless the fans are socially distanced. They should have had the fans socially distanced, had seats six feet apart, did it that way. Honestly, not sure how many fans showed up for this event because I did not get attendance numbers. But that's besides the, the point. It definitely is an insult to um to the to the vic to the families and friends of the victims of the tragedy in Rhode Island from 2003. You know, it's like opening old wounds. You don't know what Great White was thinking. Plus, it was the hometown of the current singer. Mitch Malloy, you figure he would use common sense as well. Let's not put any um, blame on former singer Jack Russell, who's now in his own version of, of Great White called Jack Russell's Great White because he's no longer with the group, as well as the singer that replaced him, Terry Elos, best known for his band X, Y, and Z, because they did not perform at this event. It's unreal that Great White actually went about this concert without proper social distancing. No one was wearing masks. What in the world was the township of Dickinson, Dickinson, North Dakota thinking as well as the promoters of the event? Do I have the promoters of the event's theme still? So I think they're called Odd Ellos or Odd Fellows. And according to his name was April Getz, saying that there was no restrictions. It's unbelievable. Thank you, friends, for all your continued support. Please don't forget to subscribe. If you haven't subscribed yet, keep the um, com comments coming in. It's unbelievable that Great White actually would play, play this concert knowing what happened in 2003 in Rhode Island and plus they did not question any time if the concert was going to be socially distanced at least Dawkins was doing concerts that are socially distanced Ace Frehley's planning a few that's how you have to do it no more of this general admission bullshit where the fans are just stand cramped to each other you can do general admission do it with seating do it socially distanced what Great White did was ridiculous. Shame, shame, shame.